Hey everyone, welcome to this video about person R. At the end of the video, you can identify the data assumptions for person R, run the person R using SPSS, and interpret the result of the test. The person on the person product moment correlation coefficient or person's correlation is a measure of the strength and direction of association that exists between two variables measured on interval or ratio scale. For example, you could use a person's correlation to understand whether there is a, an association between exam performance and time spent revising, depression and length of unemployment. Here are the assumptions okay, to hold true for a data set in person R. First, the two variables should be measured at the interval or ratio level. Examples of these are revision time, intelligence, exam performance, weight. Second, there is a linear relationship between two variables. So this is an example example of an uh, of a scatter plot, okay, wherein it's linear, and these are some nonlinear scatter plot. Third assumption: there should be no significant outliers. Outliers are simply single data points within your data that do not follow the usual pattern. So as you can see here in the scatter plot here and the fourth assumption the variables should be approximately normally distri distributed okay so uh, let's say all those assumptions uh, are actually uh, satisfied by our example here of a research problem or the data that we're going to actually use to, to be treated using person R. So sample research problem. A business analyst wants to find out if advertising cost is related to sales based on data within a period of 10 months. Our hypothesis can be stated as, for the null, advertising cost is not related to sales. For the alternative, Advertising cost is related to sales. Our statement of the problem can be stated as, is there a significant relationship between business, advertising cost, and sales? The null hypothesis is, there is no significant relationship between business, advertising cost, and sales. For the alternative, there is a significant relationship between business advertising costs and sales. So for example, for the period of 10 months, we have this advertising cost and the corresponding sales. So we have the first month, advertising cost is 10,000 and the sales is 170,000 pesos. Let's say this is in pesos. So we're going to actually uh, treat this data using person R in SPSS. So you can actually in, uh, input or organize your data in Microsoft Excel or immediately also in our SPSS. So we're going to copy this data here and we paste it to our SPSS. So just the same, make sure that it is in the data view, right click or you click on the first cell and you right click it and you paste the copy data from the Excel. And then we have to change our variable name here using the variable view here. And then we need to change the name. Uh, we have here the advertising cost and the other one is actually sales. That's for the name. The next thing is we need to identify the level of measurement for each of the variable advertising cost is actually ratio or interval so that's scale 
sales is also ratio so we click scale so we don't need to do uh, values here because uh, the two uh, variables are scale they are not nominal or ordinal now uh, we're ready to treat this data using our person r so these are the steps in analyzing or uh, treating the data using person r so you click analyze you have to point to correlate and then you click on bivariate so there will be a dialog box that will appear and then you're going to transfer it to this box here for variables uh, the two variables being correlated so in this case we have the advertising cost and the sales and you have to click on that you highlight the two and then you have to click this arrow here to transfer them into the other side so you can actually actually highlight them and then click this part here and then as you can see correlation coefficients person r is already checked so you may not uh, do that Okay, so you have to uh, check that, so already check, and then you click OK, and then there will be the output for our person R correlation. Okay, so we're going to continue with the PowerPoint presentation. Um, so we have here now the SPSS output. Okay, so we're going to organize our data in a table ready for the presentation of data in our thesis paper. So here is a sample data or a table for our manuscript. We have the first uh, column here for variables, the two variables being correlated. We have the value of the person R, the computed R, and then we have the probability value and the decision. So we put the two variables, advertising cost and sales. Our person R is actually this value here. Okay, that's 0 0.882, and then the probability value is the one with the SIG here. It's 0 0.001, and what will be our decision? So since the p-value is less than 0 0.05 level of significance, we need to reject the null hypothesis. Then we are going to actually interpret the table. So we need to have first a title of the table. So table one, significant relationship between advertising costs and sales. Using APA format, we have the discussion here as a person product moment correlation is carried out to determine the relationship between advertising costs and sales of a company. There is a strong positive correlation between advertising costs and sales, which is statistically significant. And then you include the computed value R, the number of uh, data here, we have 10 for the 10 months, and P as the probability value. And then how to determine okay, the strength okay, of the uh, correlation coefficient. So we may use this table to interpret the values of R, whether there's a perfect, high, moderately high, moderate, low, slight, and there's no correlation. It can be negative or positive. Another way of interpreting the results or the table, we have this as gleaned on table one, the computed value R equals 0 0.882 and the probability value P equals 0 0.001, which is less than 0 0.05 level of significance, indicate that there is a significant relationship between business, advertising cost, and sales. The computed R 0 0.882 reveals that there is a strong positive correlation between advertising costs and sales. This implies that the higher advertising costs a business has or is spent, the higher the sales. This is actually the scatter plot for that correlation between the advertising costs and sales.
that's all for our person R. This is Roldan. Just mapalo. See you in my next video. Bye!